This video is from the Panhandle Park Stewards, a group of neighbors who advocate for the Panhandle Park and coordinate a monthly workday where neighbors come out and work alongside staff from the Rec and Parks Department. We have news about a big project initiated by local residents that will fix up the central part of the Panhandle. The Panhandle is part of San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Sandwiched between Oak and Fell Street, the Panhandle extends for eight square blocks from Baker to Stanyon. Besides its historically significant grove of mature trees, the park is a popular place to have a picnic or play games. A busy, cross-town bike route also runs the length of the Panhandle. This year, you can expect to see some major improvements in the central area of the Panhandle. That's the part of the park between Ashbury and Clayton close to the playground and restrooms. The conditions here have been bad for a while. The irrigation and drainage do not work well, so a lot of the grass has died, the pathways have crumbled, and puddles form year-round. Because of these problems, this part of the park seems unwelcoming and is underutilized. In the past year, park staff have worked with volunteers from the community to begin making improvements here like patching the broken pathway and removing debris from underneath the benches. Soon, even more improvements are coming to this part of the park. The source of support is San Francisco's Neighborhood Parks Bond, which includes funding for projects initiated by residents. In 2010, neighbors worked together on a plan to make this part of the panhandle attractive to area residents, and in December, the city selected our plan for implementation. The plan won't affect any trees in the park, and it won't make changes to the open paved area where people practice Tai Chi or to the basketball courts. Here's what the plan does. First, it will build a wood chip path around the perimeter of the playground to improve access to the Kevin Collins Children's Garden, one of the park's favorite attractions. Nearby, the grassy area just east of the basketball courts will get new irrigation, drainage, and grass. Plus, we'll build a seating wall here, like what you find in many other San Francisco parks. Moving to the east, there's another large grassy area next to the bike path. This area will also be completely rehabbed with new irrigation, drainage, and grass. Next, there's another open area right in front of the playground. This area will be converted into a garden full of plants. The native plant nursery at the nearby Hank Recycling Center has pledged to donate hundreds of plants for this area, and they will be planted here by volunteers from the community. Another part of the plan is to install bike racks near the playground. These will be the first bike racks installed in the, play, in the panhandle, so cyclists will finally have a place to lock up their bikes while visiting the park. The plan also fixes problems with the path that crosses the, path, the park at Ashbury. Park workers enter the park several times a day and their vehicles damage the grass. We talked with park workers and their supervisors and designed a plan to improve vehicle access from one location while placing bollards to keep vehicles from entering the park at other points. In addition to the donation of plants, our proposal included a pledge of volunteer hours and funds. The North of Panhandle Neighborhood Association is raising funds to meet our pledge. You can help with a donation to NOPNA and by coming out for a volunteer workday once the project begins. We expect the San Francisco Rec and Park Department to begin work on the project sometime this year, in 2011. To learn more about this project and what neighbors are doing to improve other parts of the Panhandle Park, take part in a monthly volunteer workday or visit panhandlepark.blogspot.com.